Hello and welcome to the Broken Noob and welcome to Freak Animatronics 2 a FNAF fan game made by Khalees Unil. Uh, you may remember we covered the demo way 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 back and obviously the full game has come out so we're going to start a new game here and see what awaits us whether not we can actually deal with the freaks or whether we'll die trying. Uh, so first night 12am your typical standard FNAF fan game stuff. The clock is, clock is glitching out. Maybe that's a, a sign of things to come. Okay, we have... Ooh, okay, our offense looks cool. So we have our two hallways. We have a monitor here. Turn on lights, turn off lights. So everything just goes silent. And we have a music box to wind up here too. So we can actually... We have a mask here. And we have a camera. Alright. Main party room, parts and service. Reboot Foxy system. Okay, so Foxy requires a reboot to stop. Kitchen is cameras disabled, obviously. Bathroom is main hallway, east hallway, west hallway. Lovely. So how do we back under this? Okay, so it's just that one's just back under the top there. This fan is ridiculously loud. I feel like my game audio is like super <laughs> super high right now. Alright, so I'm not sure how we deal with each one. We don't have any doors. That's that that's the immediate thing they send out to me. I do love the models though. I think I I think this is a pretty big improvement over the demo. I swear that's like the thing feels a lot more 3D than the demo did, which is really impressive. Honestly, super cool. Uh, obviously, it's been it's been a while since I played the demo. Oh, okay, we do have a, a ticking clock here, so at least at least we can determine what exactly how close we are to 1 a.m. and each hour and stuff. So we want to keep an eye on Foxy. I doubt he's going to be active at the moment. But I love the models, though. The office looks really cool. Just <laughs> we still got a classic fan. I love like the sister location kind of wire. Oh, the FNAF one. I don't know where this wiring is like from, but it's like it's like it's like iconic FNAF wiring. So I'm not sure how we deal deal with each animatronic. Um, that's one thing I'm not sure. We haven't seemingly got a phone guy. I might have to look at the game dot page and maybe see if there's something there. I can't remember the original. I don't. I don't know if the original game explained it. I can't remember if it did. If the original demo gave you a phone guy, or when it was just like, you know, good luck. I guess we'll see. So we, do, so we do have we do have a music box though, which obviously isn't active yet. So we do have a puppet. I presume obviously he's probably in the kitchen. Uh, given puppets, is that toy? That is toy chica. Okay, that's interesting. So it seems that this is like an upgraded FNAF one kind of location, because we have our main stage here and our main party room. But then we also have stuff like the games, like we have like this big complex. And actually, maybe it's not. It's like a kind of combination of FNAF 1 and FNAF 2 locations. Like, the layout like this, but it's like not in the same place. I don't know. I so we'll find out. Alright, I don't... No one's active at the moment. Obviously, it is first night, so it's probably just adjusting to, um... Uh, like, it's just getting us used to the general office atmosphere. F Foxy has moved. I'm going to reboot that and see what happens. Because he has moved his eyes. I was not actually expecting... Aha! So, I was, I was wrong in my assumption earlier, and the music box is also winding down too. Okay, so it seems things have got active at 2am and we just seem to have missed it. So it seems both Foxy and the puppet are both active, which is contrary to my initial assumption. But main stage seems to ever still be, still be, still be silent for the moment. They haven't really... So I am wondering who we use the mask on, who we use the lights for. Maybe it's Freddy for the lights and Bonnie Chica for the mask. Everyone else seems to make, it seems to be those two mechanics, just knowing when, who's on, who has, who's powered by lights, or who's scared by lights, who's scared by the mask. Not necessarily scared, but who's, who we can survive by doing which which. Um, oh, Bonnie's now moved, he's on the move now. Uh, I need to make sure, okay, I need to make sure I actively check Foxy. So, secondary party room, Cam 8. That's when we want to make sure we're actually checking. Bonnie is, of course, now in the main hall. Because he decides to go exploring. So, I do think... Now, one mechanic is changed from the demo. It used to have, like, some kind of... Reader on the side. That was like a like an airwave. Not necessarily an airwave thing, but like a... I guess it kind of was like an airwave. Like a frequency... Oh, it was a frequency wave, sorry. A frequency wave. And that was kind of like... Okay, so we seem to we have to reboot Foxy pretty frequently. Doesn't take too long, but it is a decent chunk of time. Yeah, mine is it does take a while. 
All right, so I wonder whether we have to we can wait more for Foxy or whether it's just like because I feel like it's it's I don't know if we can wait more than just him opening his eyes. Maybe just like before he steps out of Pilot Cove. Bonnie has moved somewhere. He's now in Main Hallway 2. Again, I'm not sure whether we use the lights or the mask. He's now moving to West Hallway. Where's Bonnie gone? Where has Bonnie gone? I don't know where Bonnie's gone. Chica's now moved. I am want to reboot Foxy now. I don't know where Bonnie is. Bonnie's gone somewhere. He anywhere? Nope. Okay, we can wind the music box up. There we are. I feel like maybe I should have read the game drop page for where exactly. Okay, again, I don't know where Bonnie's gone. Man seems to have dipped somewhere. Was that here in bathrooms I just saw? It might have been. Mask. Someone's is that someone in the back of bathrooms I can't see? There's Chica. Foxy's gone. Can we please reboot him? I feel like I shouldn't have waited that long there. Oh, Foxy's gone. And we can't move. Um Hmm. Oh, there's Bonnie. I can't do anything, I'm stuck. So it seems trying to reboot Foxy. Do I hear footsteps? Seems trying to reboot Foxy while Foxy's gone from Pirate Cove. Uh, the game doesn't tend to like that. I'm not sure whether we've frozen the night or whether we're still actually ticking forward. If not, we will have to do a quick restart. And I can look up whether the mechanics are uh, listed on Game Jolt, whether it's just sort of like an adapt kind of thing. Hmm. I feel like the game might be pretty much frozen. I'll give it a couple more seconds, just in case. Nope. Okay, so we did make it to 6 a.m. That was odd. I think Bonnie, because Bonnie shut up at the door. So I, think, I don't think the game, the game didn't like it when I rebooted Foxy after Foxy had left. So clearly the game, the game doesn't like that at all. So I am actually going to check and see the game drop page where not there actually is any form of um any form of uh, what's his face any form of um guide just just to see whether or not it's explained in game or not it's explained. Okay, it's not. There doesn't seem to be anything on game drop page. So yeah, I think it's I think it's just sort of like an adapt as you go kind of thing. But yeah, so that was interesting there because we didn't. We didn't do anything to stop Bonnie. Bonnie should have probably killed us there, but... Unless Bonnie's thing was... Well, unless maybe the game... We had the mask on, because I put my mouse over it. And then the game was just assuming... That I had my mask on? I don't... I, I'm not sure. Seems Fox is pretty aggro, though. He seems very aggressive. Now it's only night one. And again, I thought the music box should have wound down by, by that point. So even then... I'm going to assume it's mask for Bonnie and Chica, and it's lights for Freddy. That seems like the, that seems like my go-to logic. <laughs> right, I think because I think that's that's a gen that's a safe safe bet when it comes to FNAF fan games. Is generally Freddy gets the special mechanic because he's super special. Hey, Bonnie, I love his shades. They're like right, obviously they're like Monty shades, but Bonnie Bonnie deserves some shades too. Alright. Yes, Foxy, don't worry, we're watching you. Making sure to get out of hand. Um, I'm not sure how long each night goes for. I think it might be six minutes. So we might go for three nights, maybe in the first episode. And then we can do four, five, six. Maybe. Don't quote me on that. So there is actually a visual cue when someone actually is prepared to enter your office because we saw the lights flash briefly when Bonnie and. Bonnie and Freddy were not Bonnie. Uh, Bonnie went in the right door. So he's obviously somewhere. He's still on main stage. Foxy's good there. Just want to keep an eye on. Obviously, want to keep our music box wound. I want to keep the puppet not puppet. Want to keep Foxy happy. 
pop him a re reboot. So I think, I'm not sure how many stages he has, but it seems normally not rebooting him outside of Pirate Cove actually works and is a valid strategy, or whether or not I just attempted to do it outside of the game, and it's like, like outside, outside of the jurisdiction, and it's like, oh, oh, no, 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 Foxy's supposed to, Foxy's supposed to be in Pirate Cove, God damn it. So, I'm not sure which is intentional, we're not we're allowed to reboot Foxy at any point, or we have to make sure he doesn't leave Pirate's Cove. Because they're both valid things. One, one one makes more sense. It makes more sense for for us to make sure Foxy doesn't leave Pirate's Cove by rebooting him. Because then it's like obviously he's gonna charge at us and do the, his run sprint thing, the Bob. I'm not sure whether I should be actively looking out for anyone else. Check on Freddy maybe. Okay, Freddy's still good there. Chica's moved. Bonnie decided to stay in main stage for the rest of his life. So he's having a fun time. Not that I'm complaining, you do you do you, Bonnie. But uh at least at least let us know, you know, give us some give us a thing. Also I do like how the I do think it's nice how the wind up music box text is the exact same from FNAF 2. More I mean, like the turn on the lights is a bit more futuristic. So I'm assuming that's an intentional design choice, because the, the it's the only font that's different. Uh, but it is nice. It's a nice little like throwback. It's like, yep, puppet's still here. He's still with ya. Don't worry. You still gotta wind his gosh darn music box. It's like, thanks, puppet. We love ya. These puppets just built different. Oh, hi, Foxy. <coughs> like it is quite a quite a long reboot system. So I do gotta be I do gotta be careful there. But if they during the later hours when like for instance if Bonnie had showed up then. But even then, like the the period between our, our that reboot we just did just then and another one we did like ages ago was a decent amount of time. So I don't know, we'll see how we go. Yep, so Foxy's already back up there. Because it's been like twenty minutes. Calm down, Foxy. I swear the um the camera or oh, the ambience is familiar. I can't place my finger on it. I think it might be I think it might be candies. I have a feeling it's from Candies 2 maybe? I don't know, it rings it maybe I'm just like thinking of something similar. Or maybe no, maybe it's just regular candies. It might be just candies, regular ambience. FNAF uh FNAF 1. Rather than FNAF 2, like I was thinking. Why Chica's gonna show up out of nowhere? It's gonna be like, okay. Because I'm not keeping track of them at all. Because obviously I'm too busy focused on Foxy. Uh, yeah, we're good there. No one's. No one's putting it into us yet. Always nice to see. Ambience is getting a little bit more intense. That's what we don't like to see. <laughs> Make sure we don't get a. Uh, not any problems. Hey yo. Oh, that was someone. Is that Bonnie? I'm gonna put on the mask. That does work. Okay, mask. So mask is a go for Bonnie. Mask is good for Bonnie. That's what we want. So that's that's a seal of approval for us. That's what we want to see. We want to see our plans working and us doing good. That means that means we're winning. <laughs> so. It is obviously, I presume it's obviously a bit of a trial and error. Like, I can see why you would think you'd make the assumption to turn off the lights there. But it's not like there's too many mechanics to do so. Like, it's kind of like, oh, hey, Foxy. You moved fast there. So it seems that he moves exponentially faster. Like, once he's out of, once he gets out of Pirate's Cove, he moves, oh, is that someone? Is that Bonnie? Yep, hey there. Thank you, Bonnie. I'm not sure why the lights flash twice there. I'm not sure. I thought maybe, maybe some somewhere. Oh, the camera, the camera, um, glitch scared me. I thought we died. Nah, we're still good though. Yeah, Foxy. Okay, Foxy gets very aggressive late in the um in the hours. So I think we just want to merely put on the mask and then check doors when we put down camera. Just because it prevents our death. Our 
un our untimely demise. We beat the system. Then just immediately put on mask. I think that's a yeah, there we are. Hey Bonnie. Hey pal. Hey Bonnie. There we are. Okay, you're good there. <coughs> Why the music box? 6 a.m. Nice. But yeah, so we're getting the hang of it now, which is always good. It means that the at least I find the, the learning curve to be to be adequate and not entirely brutal. Um Alright. Night three, yeah, so let's see how we're going for time. Has been 15 minutes. I reckon we can do one more. We can fit one more in, I reckon. So I presume whether maybe Freddy is going to be active or something else. I presume Freddy's just turn off the lights. That makes the most sense um, in terms of mechanics because Freddy gets a special one. Chico and Bonnie just get Mask. And it kind of similar works to FNAF 1 where it's like you have Foxy and the Puppet. Both are like Foxy gets his special mechanic. FNAF 2, Puppet gets his special mechanic. Foxy's already active 12 seconds into the night. Thank you, Foxy. Very cool. Oh. <coughs> love you, Foxy. Love ya. I do love Foxy's design, actually, on that note. It is very cool. I love the whole... Oh, I love the little stars in his eye patch. That's, I think the definitely this game does really well in the models. I think I just... Foxy in particular. Obviously, I love the, the sort of glam rock inspiration for Bonnie. Uh... We haven't really gotten a good look at, like, Chica yet or anything. I want to take a quick look. Uh, thanks Chica for moving. You know, nope, we can't see you. Thanks Chica. <laughs> Get a good, good, Chica's camera shy, guys, don't worry. She's, she's fine. But yeah, no, I think, I think the models definitely, they're pretty, they're pretty cool part of the game. I mean, like, the office as well. That, well, it even just like the, it just looks, it just looks really 3D. I know, I just like it. Like, obviously, it's it's still click team and all. But I know, I, I think it, it's pretty cool. Alright, where are everyone? There you are, Chica. I don't want to keep an eye on you, Chica. I want to keep an eye on your boy, your boy Foxy. Your power with the hook. Power the, power the, power the, power the plan. The pirate, with a, the pirate with a plan. And his name is not Stan. Booyah! Excellent. Yeah, so I reckon Freddy's Freddy's is, Freddy's obviously the light. I doubt he's gonna attack us this night, but I may just jinx myself, and now Freddy will slaughter us for the rest of all eternity. Um, but maybe he won't. You know, maybe he's feeling more generous than his golden cousin from a from another fan game where he was incredibly aggressive. The one we just played last. Oh boy. Or maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe he's, maybe he's, maybe he's also camera shy. Maybe he doesn't like it when he he's watching on camera. I don't know. I doubt he is. I think it's just like Fred's gonna come towards you no matter what. No matter what. No matter what. No matter what. What? <laughs> my God, I can't speak. Freddy stolen. Freddy stolen my vocal cords. Um, he's gonna come towards you no matter what. And then it's just like, turn off the lights, your boy Freddy, he doesn't like the dark. Hey there? What? Um. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's quite a good... I know we saw Toy Chica broken in passing. Oh, hi, Bonnie. I, uh... Kind of forgot about you there, Bonnie. Kind of, kind of, kind of forgot about you there. I was too busy distracted. I know we saw Toy Chica and Parts and Service. I was not expecting the broken down toys, which might explain that this is probably from an alternate universe where the toys, the FNAF location was shut down, toys were scrapped, and the 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 Widdards were rebranded into the Freaks. Maybe I don't know. This is my fear. I my fear is sense tingling. But I was not expecting... So we do actually see Toy Bonnie at the back there. And of course there he is, his lights appearing there. But we do want to keep an eye on... So he's already active right now, he's... I should have put the mask on for Bonnie though, that's my mistake there. <coughs> but I do wonder how we're going to deal with the toys, whether or not it's the mask. 
It would make sense for it to be the mask. It might not though, it might be the lights. But we'll see how we go. If we die again, I reckon we'll, we'll leave it there with the first two nights. Uh, but we'll see how we go. Just just because I'm not certain on... Oh boy. I think if I... Now if I put down the camera, particularly after rebooting Foxy, I want to put on the mask. Can't, it's like a, the FNAF 2 strat. Where it's like if you, you put the camera up, you want to put down the mask instead. Because the office isn't wide enough. Like, the pan takes it takes a decent while. So it's sort of like that. And I check both sides with the mask already on. Which prevent us which prevents us from having to like So for instance I'd wind up the music box here and then I'll flick over the thing, Foxy's still there, put on the mask and then check both sides. Then open it and then wind the music box. Then open that, check on Foxy, put the mask on, check both sides, wind the music box, then check both sides maybe, wind that double check, then open the panel, check Foxy, check put the mask on, kind of I think that loop may help us, slightly, just because then prevents us from missing any sort of cue, some kind, there's Toy Bonnie, I don't know what he was doing. I thought he would have attacked us by now, but maybe he's been a bit generous and decided to to mess around on cams for a bit. I don't know. Maybe maybe Toy Bonnie's been kind. Man, man, seen better days though. He's obviously been in parts of the service a long time. Feel, feels kind of bad for him. To be real. And again, he is Toy Bonnie, so it's like, do I really feel bad for him? Oh, okay. Yes, we did good there. So we didn't actually see Chica there. But I wanted to make sure that uh, but putting the mask on saved us there from Chica. Because she doesn't have that visual cue that um... She doesn't have that visual cue that um... That Bonnie does. So I want to immediately... Close them on up, put a mask. Like that. And then just do a quick pan. Wind up the music box. Pan monitor. Check with Foxy. Reboot the system. Come on. Come on, pal. Put on the mask. Wind the music box. Put on the mask. Check Foxy. Put on the mask. Yeah, okay, we got it. We got the loop. We got the we got we got the gameplay loop down pat. Let's go, lads. This is a win for Team Pro Pleb Noob. We're mastering the fan games one step at a time. Bye. We oh okay that I should have actually booted Foxy up then. So I'm gonna do that now. Hopefully I won't regret this. Come on. Up there, wind the box, put the mask on, check both sides, box is good there, check both sides. So quite a quite a fulfilling gameplay loop there, which is nice. I know very 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 simple to keep track of. Hey Foxy, let's reboot you. Hopefully no one's gonna show up. By. Yep, we're good there. Obviously things will change when we see Freddy. We won't do the mask loop, we'll have to incorporate some kind of light switching mechanic. Oh, you're moving fast. Definitely didn't... Oh yeah, because this is the part where Foxy becomes... Oh, Didn't see Toy Chica there. Either way, I think he would have died there, because I don't think Foxy would have... Recovered there in time. So obviously that is Freak Animatronics Nights 1, 2 and a bit of attempt at Night 3 there. I definitely have to probably practice that that loop a bit more. I do wish there was more. I think it's generally pretty solid. 
I think it's I think it's definitely an improvement over the demo. I think um, obviously it was a while ago I played the demo, but I, I love the the modeling is easily the strongest point and the atmosphere of the office. I think a little more the mechanics could do a bit uh, more work. Like I like the the mask and the the part, but the music box is like the thing. I haven't seen the lights mechanic yet. Would be nice to have some kind of indication that they've actually shown up. Maybe some kind of audio cue to go with that, just so you know. Like, I don't know, I don't know I'm just throwing stuff because it's just like, because I swear I checked, like I checked both things and Toy Chica wasn't there, so I'm not sure. Yeah, no, uh, I pretty solid. Obviously, thank you to Khalil Zunli. Also, for for letting me know that Freaking Mod Rocks 2 was out, I don't tend to, I, I didn't know that the game had come out. It came out like 10, 10 days ago from the time I'm recording this, which is why we were covering, um, why we were, we were covering, um, Return to Bloody Nights, and I decided they requested that I cover the, the full game. And I'm like, you know what? I'll make good on that promise. So, Hopefully I have now. I do. Pl I obviously plan to continue it. We'll see how we go with the other nights. Um, yeah, only major bug I spotted, just because it's always good to, to report these kind of things. I was obviously trying to reboot Foxy uh, during night one when he left Pirates Cove, and then the game just froze. Still, still progress, but like I couldn't move. Somehow I didn't die in a Bonnie. I don't know how that worked. Maybe the game was keeping track when I had the mask on or not. Um, I think some phone guy. Explanation calls would be good as well, just to to, to, to bring up each of the mechanics maybe. Or even, well, even just like some like to fill in that sort of gap through the start of the nights. But yeah, no, generally really solid fan game. Uh, it'll be in the description down below if you want to check it out for yourself. I'd highly recommend you do. Um, yeah, pretty solid. No, uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Remember like, comment, subscribe uh, if you feel like it, and I will. See you guys next time for perhaps more free Camatronics 2 or maybe we'll move on to something else. Who knows? Uh, most likely, unless I like maybe Night 3 is just ridiculously hard and I'm just unable to beat it, uh, then we'll move on to something else. But well, we should cover more free Camatronics 2 uh, in the next episode. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.